All right, this is a story that I uh, that has mostly passed me by. I haven't really paid close attention to it, um, as important as it obviously is. So I'm kind of learning about it as we read, and uh, maybe you're learning about it as well. Here's the latest from Deadline. Uh, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, and Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase. Near-catastrophic involving paparazzi photographers last night, according to a spokesperson for the Prince. We're told the trio did not go to the hospital and that they're doing okay. Well, that's good. It's very worried. The incident has been reported by Reuters and Sky News and, the, and, uh, and allegedly happened after Harry and wife Markle attended an award ceremony in New York on Tuesday, during which Markle received a Woman of Vision Award. What is her vision exactly? Uh, that's, that's the real news here. A Woman of Vision Award? Um, where is there evidence that Meghan Markle has a vision that extends beyond her reflection in the bathroom mirror? That's the only vision I think she's thinking about. In a statement from the Prince's representative, it says, Last night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Miss Raglan were involved in a near-catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. This relentless pursuit, lasting over two hours, resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. While being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety. The incident, which comes just over a week after um, Harry attended his father, King Charles's coronation in London, has horrible shades of the way in which Harry's mother, Princess Diana, died in the late 1990s in Paris. Some media blame the erratic behavior of the paparazzi um, as the cause of the fatal crash. And so it's almost as if it, it happened again, we're told, with this high-speed car chase in New York City. Now, um, when I just first reaction reading up on this story, a, a, a number of problems immediately arise. The first one is, what do you mean near catastrophic? Okay. What you're saying is nothing happened. There was no collision, but you're saying it was, it was nearly a catastrophic. How could it be? It's one thing to say, I almost got into an accident, but you're, it was not only did I almost get into an accident, but it was almost catastrophic. So nothing happened. It's like you've got nothing and then you have catastrophe and you've skipped over all the things in between and gone right to, it was almost a catastrophe. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And then also, how would that work exactly? You know, I've spent more time in New York City than uh, I, I have ever wanted to spend. And one of the many things about New York City that's just god awful is the traffic and the fact that you know if you have to go somewhere and it's a, a mile and a half away and usually you would think oh it's a mile and a half I could, I could get in the car you know 5 minutes ahead of time I'll be there on time no mile and a half is going to take you about 6 and a half hours so with with traffic that jammed up how could there be a high-speed chase, and especially one that lasts for two hours. This would have to be, I mean, we're talking about Fast and Furious type of thing. Like, this is, a, this is an action movie. To be, I guess there's a way to do it. There's a way to engage in a high-speed chase, but you have, to be, you have to be like a professional stunt driver in order to find, uh, to weave your way in and out of New York traffic. So it sounds like a, a little bit of an odd story. Um, in fact, it sounds completely unbelievable. And then all the updates start coming in uh, with other people who were around this and saw this, and, and pretty much all of them are saying, "No, it's uh, it was it was totally fine." The, they were they were in a cab for part of this high speed ch chase, and the cab drivers come out and said, "No, it was it was basically normal. It was fine. It was everything was fine." Um, Daily Wire has an update from the New York Police Department. So the New York Police Department responded on Wednesday to reports that Prince Harry's wife Meghan Markle and her mother Doria Ragland were involved in a near catastrophic car chase. Uh, NYPD Deputy Commissioner Public Information Officer Wa uh, Julian Phillips issued a statement to the Daily Wire confirming that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were escorted by officers while in the city, but said that there were no collisions or injuries involved in their transport. Uh, said, quote, on Tuesday evening, May 16th, the NYPD assisted the private security team protecting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. There were numerous photographers that made their transport challenging. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at the destination and there were no reported collisions, summonses, injuries, or arrests in that regard. Um, and other witnesses have said, including uh, uh, the mayor of New York has come out and said that it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to believe that that would have happened. 
again, anyone who's familiar with New York City knows that there's no, there are no two-hour high-speed car chases happening in the middle of New York City. The first step in growing up and being a real man is getting off your parents' phone plan. One of the first steps, anyway. There's other things, too. But getting your own cell phone plan gives you a sense of independence and responsibility. It's a step towards becoming more self-sufficient. By paying for your own finances, you'll learn how to budget and manage your money. There are a ton of cell phone providers out there. Unfortunately, most of them want to lock you into horrific contracts that will tack on hidden fees at any chance they get. That's why I'm a huge fan of Pure Talk. There are no contracts, no hassle. You can cancel at any time. Pure Talk is also giving you a free 5G Samsung Galaxy phone when you sign up for uh, the $55 per month unlimited plan plus hotspot today. They use the exact same uh, networks as major carriers, so you get the same coverage that you're used to but it's just a much better service and a lot cheaper too. Switching over to Pure Talk is so easy. You can make the switch, uh, keep your cell phone number and keep your phone number, and you can do all of this in as little as 10 minutes with their US-based customer service team. Pure Talk is so sure that you're gonna love your service. They're backing up with a 100% money back guarantee. So go to puretalk.com, enter promo code Walsh to save 50% off their first month with Pure Talk. That's puretalk.com, promo code Walsh. Pure Talk is simply smarter wireless. So this is a, a story that they invented, not the first time that they've invented a story, but it is, it is, it, it's really extraordinary that they feel the need to stoop to this level. I mean, this is, uh, this is full on Jesse Smollett. This is basically a Jesse Smollett moment. And what makes it Jesse Smollett is it's not so much the, the thing that they're claiming is it's a different sort of thing. And as far as I know, they're not claiming that the paparazzi had MAGA hats and were chasing them down and saying, this is MAGA country. So they're not saying that, but it's similar to Justice Millett in just how unbelievable it is. Like, if you're familiar at all with the area, anyone who knew anything about Chicago, if, 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 even if you didn't spend a lot of time there, if you've spent any time in Chicago, you, you immediately knew as soon as you heard the Justice Millett story, okay, uh, 2 a.m., in the winter in Chicago and you're walking for a sandwich, that doesn't make any sense. Trump supporters in MAGA hats hanging out outside in Chicago at night also doesn't make any sense. Um, and same thing here with this story in New York. It's if you're at all, if you have any common sense at all, and especially if you're familiar with these areas, uh, the story doesn't even begin to hold water. And yet they make up the story anyway because they are, they are so desperate to be victims. And this, this psychological pull towards victimhood for Harry and Meghan is uh, overwhelming. They can't, they can't see outside of it. When in, in reality, it's like they, they have really nice, comfortable lives. The kind of lives that most people, most people would kill to have a life like this. Like, you know, you're rich. You don't have to do anything. You can just, you, like your whole job is just to be famous and rich. You live in a beautiful house, all these things. And, and you, would, you would think, well, why can't you just accept that? Why can't you accept the fact that you have a nice, easy, comfortable life? Why can't you accept that? Stop denying it. Ex acceptance is the only path to happiness here. This is true for anyone. You know, if you want to be happy in life, you have to, it has to begin with acceptance. You have to accept, you have to, uh, uh, you know, realize where you are in life and accept reality for what it is. But for a lot of people, they struggle to accept reality for what it is because sometimes the reality can be, is quite painful. You know, it's like if you just got diagnosed with a terminal illness or something, and well, it doesn't mean that you can't have happiness, but it has to begin by accepting. You have to accept the fact that that happened and not try to hide from it. Um, and it makes sense that it'd be difficult to accept things that are hard. But for Harry and Meghan, they, they have difficulty accepting the good stuff. That you have a, a good life and a comfortable, luxurious life. But a lot of this is also cultural. And we know that in our culture, um, prestige and power comes from victimhood. And prestige and power is what they both crave most of all, especially Megan. And she knows that she can't really have it without also being a victim. And so she will try anything to attain that victimhood status. That'll do it for uh, this portion of shows. We'll move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.